What's going on everyone? It's Keith and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to feed your snakes frozen thawed. The first step to feeding your snake frozen thawed is to pick out the appropriate sized rodent for your snake. The size of the rodent is determined by the girth of your snake. So for this snake, the pewter bee female that I have, you, I would go around her, determine how large this is, and this is how big I would want the rodent that I'm feeding her to be. The next step to feeding frozen is to purchase your rodents. I purchased frozen small rats for my pewter bee female. Make sure that you buy your rodents from a trusted source. You want to make sure that what you're putting into your snake, which are these frozen rodents, are being taken care of by the person you're purchasing them from. Because what you put into your snakes is what you get out. The following step is to defrost the rodents. I'll be defrosting these small rats by running hot water onto the rats into this six quart tub. Allow the rodents to defrost for one to two hours and make sure that you change the water two to three times to ensure that hot water is surrounding the rats at all times to make sure that the outside and the inside of the rats are thawed. It's very important to ensure that the inside of the rats are thawed because although the outside may seem thawed and ready to be fed to your snake, the inside could still contain ice crystals and could result in serious problems for your snake. Once the rats are defrosted, empty out all the water. Now what you want to do is get the water as hot as possible before refilling the tub up for the last time. What this will do is ensure that the rats are at their hottest temperature and this will entice the snakes even more to go ahead and feed. Next step is to take the rat out of the water, allow the water to drip off, and then dry the rat thoroughly. Use a paper towel to dry off the rat and ensure that as little moisture as possible is left on the rat because a live rat would normally be found dry, not wet to the snake. Final step is to open up your tub and feed the rat to your snake. <coughs> As you can see, the pure to be female took the rat because the rat was nice and warm and it used its heat pits to sense that its prey was there. I highly recommend using a tool such as tweezers when feeding your snake frozen thawed rodents. Rather than using your hand, you can use tweezers and avoid any chance of being bitten by your snake. As well, tweezers can be used to mimic the motions of a live rodent by grabbing the rodent by the scruff of its neck and shaking back and forth to mimic the motions of a walking or running rat. It is important to minimize the time between taking the rat out of the water and feeding the rat to the snake. The less time that it takes for you to get the rat dried off and fed to your snake, the greater the attraction the snake will have to the rat because the rat will still be nice and warm from when it was soaking in the hot water tub. I hope this guide was helpful and informative. If you have any more questions, please feel free to either message me or leave a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you on any concerns you may have. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.